Because this is our only way in. Actually, there's probably a way up here that circles around, maybe. Um, what are you doing? What is this? Missing in action? Oh, because they, yeah, they're in their space, so they're coming back. Alright, you don't have anything to do, so let's do this. Research projects in the system, and then automatic exploration? I guess? You're not doing anything, because you don't have anything for you to do, really? Actually, here, you, do, you build the stations down here. You will go and build this. Okay. Good humans, pets. <laughs> How many humans do you have in your household? Did you teach them any tricks? The very geological structure of Marth 5 is indeed in flux. Driven by what science officer Hafandra assures us is a tectonic process. As fascinating as it is esoteric. What is of more interest to the mechanical assembly of Alari cultural supremacy is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near-instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable. Oh, really? We can add science research, or spend energy credits to try and stabilize the planet with a 50% chance of success. Let's just study it. It's fine. It will be fine. Alright, so in this game, we basically need to be popping out star bases as soon as we get to 70 influence, right? Oh, Jesus, traditions. Leader level cap is increased. Yeah, we're not going to mess with the humans at all. They're fanatical military, mil militarists, and they're xenophobic. While we are xenophiles, and we're like, hey, how about you come, you know, talk with us? Oh, right, the factions, yes. Okay, Alien Equality Group. Indirect xenology? xenology? Legislation of passing study stance, passive study stance on native interference will please the Alien Equality Group. So this popped up because we found a um, underdeveloped culture, I think, right? Okay, we can do that, probably. AI allowed and bleeding edge. Staying ahead of the curve and not allowing any fellow empires to be more than equivalent. Oh man, that's gonna be... Okay. This faction's probably gonna hate us when we find more civilizations who have better science than we do. But, oh damn. Alright, so for the Alien Equality Group, we need to do passive study. So that should be in our policies? Native interference, passive study? Yeah, we can do that. I'm okay with this. At least for 10 years, right now? Yeah, fine. Let's please them. There we go. So now we get more influence, which means we can build space stations faster, which is fantastic. What is with the tradition list? It's a uh, mod. I love, like, I played a lot of games with just the basic uh, tradition list, and I'm just tired of those choices, so I want more choices. So I, I like to run with the expanded traditions and ascension perk list. It allows you to kind of further focus your you know, race into different things. Alright, all of our ships are doing something. You are not. Build mining stations, please. You are studying something? Empress Winnie Sprinkles has developed new skills. Have you now? Eye for talent. Uh, leader level cap and leader experience gain. I think that is new. Okay. Our crown prince is an explorer and an expansionist. Nice. We have detected an anomaly. Research. Yeah, so what the hell? Are you? You're doing nothing right now, are you? There we go. So now you would do something. We have this construction ship, construction which will now completed. build all the stations. And the research station. There we go. Oh, we can build another uh, space station as well. So you will build it here where we can then colonize that planet. Uh, let's see. Are your jobs filled yet? No, not yet. Alien mural. While conducting surface scans of Baish 3, science officer Raython and the crew found some stuff that was fascinating. Situation log has been updated. Fantastic. 
Uh, where was that? Here, go, go do that. Wait, where the hell are you? There you are. Here, go do this. Research that project, and then automated explore. Wait. Here, do that first then, okay. Why are we space turkeys? We're space peacocks. And is zero space peacocks? It's not turkeys. System survey conclusion. Jeez. Is border friction a thing? I believe it is. So like right now, if we open up our diplomacy. Hi. We probably have border friction. Yeah, minus 15. Uh, xenophobia, minus 20. New contact. Yeah. They're not going to like us. And they are overwhelming with their fleet power. Okay, we should probably maybe build some stuff. Um, I've done no research into upgrading our ships yet. But the very least we can do is, I guess, increase the amount of ships we have. How much... What is the upkeep of these small ships? Why doesn't it tell me this? So our ships are consuming 9.2. But, I mean, that's also probably with our constructor ships. That's true, we did get blue lasers. Hold on. Yeah, 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 ship designer. Which, you haven't even looked at our ships yet. This is um, the base level of ship for that mod. Totally forgot. Looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, okay, small blue lasers are already there. And then a sentinel point defense. That's, yeah, that's fine. <gasps> Reactor booster. Uh Auto design takes control over upgrading and changing of the ship. Oh, well, you know, it's fine then. Whatever. Not that big of a difference. Alright, go back here and then build us some more Corvettes. The upkeep is in alloys and energy. Oh, take care, Wilhelm. Point defense are a waste of money, most likely. Um, well, I mean, that's the thing. Unless they go missile heavy, right? Which we don't know yet. It's not a far stretch of them going missile heavy. So right now we're waiting to get this built so we can build a planet there. We are still exploring, which is fantastic. Um, we're waiting for this number to get up high enough so that we can build more star completed. bases. Construction completed. Build the mining stations, please. <gasps> there we go. Okay, so now we can build a colony ship. Colonize. What is this world going to be, friends? This world of city districts, generators, agriculture... And I guess these are the modded districts. This is a good game, but it's still time consuming? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Definitely a very time consuming game. Ah, I see. Okay. Consumed by ships 1.26. Man, so ships. Well, because ships used to consume mineral upkeep then? Was that a thing? Or was it just credits? I can't remember. Liquid gold. <laughs> Liquid gold? Modded? Moded? <laughs> Macworst mod? Oh my goodness. Alright, we'll do the we'll do the feather duster. Sure. Planets feather duster. The special project has concluded. Got all that stuff? Amazing. So amazing. Skill level 5. Fantastic. Oh, you're not doing anything. Um, automated research. There we go. Go. The planets of Feather Duster. We've encountered some form of alien vessel on Halvin. Oh, we got new aliens. Is that going to be a uh, situation log? Concluded. Research. All right, we also have something up there that we need to find. And there? All right, hold on. Research project Knowledge in the system. Is the key to the universe. And that one. And then research, there we go. Let's get these done. Construction completed. All right, so that's done. You now are free to uh, go off and build another space station. So where do you want to build a space station at? We already got one right there. Oh man, that's a lot of that's a lot of things. 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, so if I build a space station here, is that considered um, spread out? Do I have to build a station here? Oh, we already have a station there. What am I saying? Never mind. We're fine. Let's go build it here. This outpost. And so then we can grab all this stuff up there. Ah, engineering research. Okay. What do we got? We got afterburners, planet build speed. That's pretty good. Um, Serrano Metal Armor. Mining Station Output plus 10%. And Starbase Building Nebula Refinery. Gives us 6 minerals with 2 energy upkeep. <sighs> hmm. Let's grab the... Okay, mm, let's grab the armor. I need to start thinking about upgrading our fleet a little bit, because now we're next to some militarists here, which uh, may have a problem with our existence. I'm guessing. Limbo. The signal originates from the remains of the antenna-like structure. Exploratory probes were dispatched uh, to the surface to investigate more closely. What they found was a cavernous vault that was easily pried open. It was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long-dead race of aliens. Ah. Well, we got a special project. So we want you to go research this project. And we're probably going to want... Our credits are still kind of low, though, but I, I want to build another science vessel. We need to explore the stars very quickly. I'm going to risk one more science vessel. The problem is the leadership costs. It's kind of a lot. So what do we do with these uh, with this trade value here? Is that something where I have to like upgrade this star base to something? Let's see, star base. I have no modules I can even do. We can upgrade it to a star port. I'm assuming trade value in a system is collected by a star port. That is my assumption. And having a star port here kind of makes sense. Because it's on the um, border of you know their space. So I think we will upgrade this. I'll check that out. Project has concluded. Hey, the limbo thing. The vault is a tomb of hopeful immortals. Science officer asserts that huge blocks of ternary code found in the databanks are neural images, digitized brain scans. Doubtlessly, the aliens consider them this to be their only shot at any kind of survival following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossibility small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. We could gain engine. Wait. Download the neural patterns for safekeeping. Yeah, we're. Hey, listen, we're explorers. We like to find new stuff. We're going to download your digital brains. And on those brains, we found filthy images. Just absolutely filthy. Hello, Rose. How's it going? How you doing? Construction How goes the space killing? We haven't done any space killing yet, but we're open to space killing. Ooh, we got some things here. Issues. We have an Alari worker that doesn't have a job. Wait, what? We have we have technicians. Wait, what? There are technician positions opened. Oh. Oh, I see. Right, I had them manually down. Okay. So that's okay. Now we just have one robot. Oh, but our amenities go down to... Oh, System right. Survey concluded. We need more amenities, man. Hmm. There we go. Now we're at e zero. I need a building that does just like a minute or something. Trade is collected by a starport or higher base in that system, and then it gets sent across hyperplanes or gates to your capital. A special project has concluded. Uh, compact star studied. Okay. Fantastic. An alien nation is hailing us. 
Okay, Space Lobsters. First contact with the Dynastic Union of uh, Hayaka. Where are they at? We don't know where they are at. These are fanatic authoritarians and spiritualists. Okay. We're delighted to meet you. We've learned of a new strategic resource and counted on, on something in the territories of... Oh, there it is. There it pops. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, so we definitely want to try and cut them off from expansion into here. So we want to try and get stations built down to there. So we are going to do that right now. We're going to build... I'm going to build... Oh, I can't. We're lacking um, influence. This is going to increase our sprawl, which is already high. Wait. Multiply by 121% due to 89% empire cohesion? Are we not... In cohesion? Everything looks like it's in cohesion. Ah, uh, yes, we are peacocks. We are peacocks. Yes. Cohesion can be found in your empire screen. Ah. From external hyperlanes, minus 13. From isolated systems, minus 6. What is an isolated system? Who's isolated? All of these systems connect to our capital system, right? I don't understand why we don't have cohesion. I mean, I, I'm guessing this is considered an external hyperlane, maybe. So, okay. System survey concluded. That's unfortunate. What do we got here? Energy credits from technicians plus twenty percent. Yes. That's still lit. All fear our feathers. They will be. But we're nice about it, though. We're like the Tau. We're, we're Tau Peacocks. Isolated is not connected by two systems. So this is isolated? And this is isolated because it's not connected by two systems? What? I don't like this. Construction complete. I don't like this cohesion shit. What do we got here? Buildings. I don't know if we need any of those right now. Trade hub. Collection range plus one. Does plus one mean plus one systems? So this would tra uh, collect trade from here and here if there was any to collect. Is that what plus one means here? Space socialists. That's like one step down from Tau cat people? Hey. Hey now. Listen, cats are our rivals. A new world has been colonized. <gasps> yes, faith and science. Pops working with research have their upkeep reduced by 20%. That's not going to be a big hit for us right now, but this does give us an ascension perk. So now that we have finished this, all of our research speed is increased by 10%, and we get an ascension perk. Fantastic. So there are a lot more ascension perks now, too, because of the, uh, because of the mod. Yes to my question about the trade? Okay, good to know. What now? Rivals flex his claws? Are you my rival now, Rose? Because I'm a space peacock? Oh, there's some stuff here. Okay, government perk edict duration increased by 100% plus additional 20% for government perk unlocked. Promotion of excellence. Ascendancy of the state. An additional civic slot. Government perk monthly influence is increased... Okay. Monthly influence plus 50%. Government perk of the happiness of all factions is increased by 1% per government perk. Okay, so that's another government perk. Um, administrative capacity by 15 for each government perk unlocked. Don't care about that yet. 
Extra pops from establishing a colony. Generates an additional colonizer whenever colonizer is built. It's kind of neat. One vision. Yeah, we have kind of like multiple visions. The technological ascendancy is great. It's just a base 10% research buff. It's kind of hard to ignore that, honestly. I'm going to grab that. It's hard to ignore the, uh, the research. Also, apparently I need to go and kill Rose now because she wants to be a cat. I gave you a chance to become a peacock, but I know you just want to be a kitty. Oh, science ships. Jesus, what are we doing? Um, automatic exploration. Construction ship, we want to... We really want to get down to here so we can cut these people off. Or I want to get down to here. Let's build in Bish. What mods am I using? Uh, the main gameplay mods would be... Um, there is a district expander... Which apparently adds these two districts, the local industry and the production hub to every planet that we have. I'm assuming there's going to be more districts, depending on if we get specialized planets or not. And then the expanded um, traditions. There are a ton more of traditions and uh, ascension perk slots now. Those are the main gameplay ones. There's uh, graphical ones. We're using a new uh, ship graphic thing. Ship models. We have detected an anomaly. You're going to end me? Listen, all I'm saying is I don't see your people in this game. I don't see any Space Cat people. You know why? Because we killed them. Because we fucking murdered them. Oh, what up, Archangel? How's it going? Thank you. Thank you for the resub for 16 months. Thank you. System survey concluded. Uh, let's see. Our scientists have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization. It was probably of cat people that were destroyed because cat people probably overdosed on the catnip and they killed themselves. Interesting. Situation log has been updated. Too much catnip in their diet. Don't trust the cat people. <laughs> Recalls being fed catnip by Toke. Have I fed you catnip? Uh, let's see. Issue special pro project Mount Graveyard Expedition. Signs of battle. Situation log has been updated. Research that project. All right, we need to build more stations. Man, this game is so heavily built on outposts in the beginning. I had kind of forgotten. Swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across uh, Iberiri. <laughs> uh, they are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere. Hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. <gasps> it's the, um, the planet covering, like, space stuff from Earth Defense Force. If any of you ever played that game. That's what we're finding here. This must be Earth! It's been taken over by the aliens! Science Officer Rathon is yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna. Okay. Interesting. Encounter in Itham. We found some Delta aliens that we can research. We'll do that. Uh, let me actually slow this down for a little bit. Let's go down to fast. A lot of things are happening. So we're building a station and we built a station in Bish. And now we don't have the Empire Sprawl. Or like the, the penalty. By building a space station in Bish? What? How? This Sprawl thing is really confusing me. Not, not the Sprawl, but the negatives that we had. It said that we had isolated systems... But yet, apparently we don't anymore because I built a station down here. Oh, space stations reduces the... Oh, that's why. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Okay, so now that we got this done, let's just build our stations there. Um, this constructor will build, I guess, the station here. I'm assuming this is contributing to our border gore, so we need to build a station there. So we'll just get that done. Um, we have a decent amount of stuff in the bank. Oh, uh, buildings. All right, so we have unemployed pops here. We have one unemployed pop. So we probably want to do... Let's see, we have four amenity amenities. We have zero housing. Does this give us housing? It does. Gives us two housing. 
Hmm. And this is just clerks. Our food is kind of getting low as well. Um. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's build a farm then. Actually. There we go. Okay, Toy Feather is still a colony. Or, sorry, no, Feather Dust is still colonizing. Toy Feather is fine. Toy Feather will have a new population pretty soon. A special project has concluded. Oh, we have researcher slots here, though. So we have spots for them to go into, so that's fine. Our capital has two unemployed robots. Which probably means we want to build a new building, probably a mining district. But we have 57 minerals. So farm. Let's build a farming district. Because they also work farms. So let's build a farming district here. Our two robots will fill that slot. Why is this not building? What the hell? Oh, we can't build. Oh! Because they can only support 14 total districts until we clear blockers. Oh shit! Oh. See, I was thinking that we could. Um, I was thinking that we could basically build as many districts as there are blocks here for everything. But there's actually a limit. Oh shit. So we only have three more districts we can build on this planet, and we gotta clear the block. Oh man! All right, M-class star studied. Eureka! Hey, we got fusion power. Almost. Oh, let's see. Star studies completed. We can get some physics research gained, or turning. Based on star data modifier added for 60 months, giving the following effects energy credits from jobs plus 10% for 60 months. Yeah, let's do that. The total is just under the spyglass icon. What? Spyglass icon. Right here. Okay. See. I see. Lot to learn with this um this update. But we're getting there. Uh science ship. Whoops. Automated science. Automated exploration. You are just kinda hanging out? No, you're you're are you researching right now? Your Dr. Chikoya A. System survey concluded. Why? Oh, because we, we don't have a damn leader for you. That's why. All right, let's recruit a scientist. We will give you survey speed. There we go. Uh, sign leader. There it is. Automated research. Or automated expression. Okay. So now you're going. Whew. Okay. Now, can we build a uh, outpost there? Yes, we can. So let's do that. You're building a station as well, okay. Robots need jobs do too. They do, and we're gonna give them jobs. We're gonna give them all the jobs. Let's build mining stations up here. Man, jumping back into this game after months of not playing with construction completed. whole new mechanics. It's a little overwhelming at first. Okay, so this is gonna have 20 districts. Plus that's two blockers. Uh, we are receiving a transmission from the Council of Emoria. Oh. They are also xenophobic and fanatic materialists. We're delighted to meet you. So we have two xenophobes almost touching our borders. Oh, man. So that means we want to try and grab this as soon as possible. So whenever we get enough influence, we're going to um, build a station here, upgrade that to an actual space station instead of just an outpost. Um, and so we kind of have our borders. The only other way of exploration is up here. 
or expansion, I should say. And it looks like the humans are probably expanding there too. Construction completed. Is it fun overwhelming or not fun overwhelming? Ah, uh, it's still, it's in the middle right now. It will be fun overwhelming, or will just turn into fun eventually when I have everything down. When I know what all these new things mean. Um, like over here, I think our, yeah, so it's just the robots. Okay, so we, we, we got rid of those blockers. We got rid of those blockers. Oh, God. Okay, research. <laughs> we got rid of those blockers, so we have two more districts we can make. So I still... Th oh, we're up to 15 food right now, so that's actually okay. But we only have two districts. We have 10 houses, so that doesn't matter. We're pretty low on amenities, but I don't think robots can fill those jobs. They can only fill, for right now, minerals and farming. So... Let's make a farm district build. There we go. Okay. You gain better reputation if you use completed. the response that suits their traits. Oh. Yeah, we can learn System things through the corpses of our neighbors. Sure, we can do that. Oh, no, they got that! Shoot! Alright, well, we're gonna need to build a station here. That sucks. Oh, man, there's three! Oh, God. Ah. Oh, dang it. Dang you. And I think this is the one race that we could probably get along. Completed. Never mind. Infidel unbelievers. Ah, oh, because we're not spiritualists? Cause, right, because fanatic materialists are like the opposite of spiritualists, aren't they? So we're not gonna get along with anybody here. Oh, man. Build some more Corvettes. So we have three potential enemies. And their fleet power is overwhelming. Their fleet power is equivalent. Their fleet power is still superior. And they're actively hostile. Yeah. They're wary. But yeah. System survey concluded. Oh boy. So we want to try and build here. But what sucks is that they can also go there. What music they make. The animals uh, are predator and prey alike gather together as night falls and sing. The house clicks, chirps, roars, and hisses are discordant to say the least. But they are a recognizable melody in there. And not a bad one either. What? The non-sapient choir is obviously the work of some alien entity, and we may never know the purpose of altering the fauna in this way. What? Some alien changed it so that all animals and shit come together every night and sing together? What? That is fascinating. I'm sure it sounds terrible, but that's fascinating. Hello, Madawaki. Hello, hello. How's it going? Sounds like what you would do if you were bored. You would change an entire planet species. Hey, we got some of, some of that. Hmm. Improved deflectors. Research station output. Um, I'm going to do research station output. I like research. And we're going to be building some more stations here in a moment. There we go. Build that. This is really unfortunate. That we have uh, these enemies next to us. That's, that's not great. It's not fantastic. Just putting that out there. Okay. Um, what are we going to do here? We may need to build some defensive stuff. Crew quarters is always nice, at least later. Construction completed. Build a gun battery. Missile battery. Build a gun battery. It's Lion, Space Lion King. <laughs> nah. Seguenya. Alright, all of our ships are doing stuff. 
Approval ratings are good for those. Do we have any... Oh, here we go. Come down to Bish. Build a station. Build more stations. Build all the stations. There we go. And then you are building a space outpost. Construction completed. Enemies are just dead people that are still alive. Damn, that's harsh. We're trying to be accepting of cultures. It's not my fault that we are surrounded by people who probably hate us. Or actually, you do hate us. Not probably about it. They do hate us. 100%. Construction completed. This planet can support the construction of additional jobs, but we don't have additional population for those jobs. So there's no point there. Um, Research concluded. Okay, what is this? Oh, G Clinics. Nice. Off-road trading company. Produces two trade value for each trade hub. That seems like something that's more important later. Society research from researchers plus 20%. I mean, we're already halfway researched into that. I guess I changed it at some point. Whoops. You're excited to play Lizardman when it releases? Yeah, I am too. We're surrounded by a bunch of burb haters. <laughs> Damn burb haters. They probably fell to the um, completed. false words of Rose, the despoiler, and her damn cat people. Research concluded. Oh, robot modification points. Robo modding. That sounds useful for our people. Uh, though it rightfully belongs to us, the Commonwealth of Man has audaciously laid a claim to the Siakothia system. Oh boy. They're laying claims on us. You don't spoil anything, you make it sweeter. Not if you kill people. Um, well, at least our fleet power is equivalent right now. But they are laying claims on us. Holy shit. Three planets that are 60% habitable? That's not bad. That is not bad. Man, they really want to pop this off quickly. System survey concluded. Research. Well, we're going to need some more alloys here. I think. We're going to get up to our naval capacity limit here, I think. Are we going to evolve into full synthetic? Shh. No. Why would we try to reach perfection? Am I building military ships? Yes. We have unemployed workers. Oh, it's a robot. Okay, that's fine. Totally fine. So you said that we're going to need a, lot, a bunch of housing later. So we should probably devote one of these remaining two things to a housing district. And this opens up a clerk's job. Uh, okay. I'm going to build it now so I don't forget about it later. And then we're also going to need to um, destroy the blocker. There we go. Got some level ups. Okay. Um, how's our influence? It's getting up there. We can maybe build another station here in a little bit. A little bit. This game with a 40k mod would be pretty great. There are some 40k mods out there, but they're not super cool. They're not there yet. You can't eat synthetic birds and is upset by this. I mean, you could try. They may not, you know, agree with your system, but you can definitely try. You are going to go, I guess, up here and get ready to build another outpost. Actually, it's opening oh, point four. A new world there we go. Has been hey, we got a new world. The world of Feather Duster. Excellent. How's our other colonies going? Alright, we almost have another population here. So we have no jobs open. We only have one housing. And we have a new population coming in. So we need to build something here. Our food is fine. Um, 
This opens up three metallurgist jobs. We don't need that many jobs right now. Let's grab... Let's grab a basic city district for right now, I think. Just so we have room in the future for you. Toy feathers, I think we'll probably do the same thing. Just get some how. Well, although... That doesn't really matter right now. It's only going to matter later. Right? Hmm. What I really need are going to be metallurgists. So you know what? And first Mecha Father, let's actually cancel that and build a local industry. But oh my god, that takes so many minerals though. Is that efficient? 18 minerals into 9 alloys? Between 3 jobs? More free housing helps with population growth. Oh, does it? Okay, well then we'll go back to this. That's, that's a good reason to get the housing. We'll just do a city district in all of our colonies. Okay. I really want our people to be happy. Free research. But another Corvette. We can apparently upgrade this fleet. Our sign ship is under fire. Uh. Where was that? Where were you? Where was that? Research these immediately. Oh yeah, we will be needing more firepower. I've been researching a bunch of like economic and research stuff. For sure. You are investigating, you are gonna come back soon-ish, hopefully. Native problem. Uh, several colonists have been found dead on the outskirts of our main settlement on the newly colonized planet of Feather Duster. Oh no. The cause of death is multiple gunshots fired from a long range. Our authorities have not been able to identify the perpetrators so far, but they are confident that none of the colonists were in the area when shots originated from. The response team sent to the area was not able to find any clues either. That is alarming. Uh, hello, Tooth the Shark. Completed. Welcome. That is very alarming. What the heck? Uh, build mining stations and resource station. I don't have time for this. Build a mine station there. Okay. It's probably the cat people. <laughs> Damn it! We must destroy the cat people, friends. It must be done. During a survey, we discovered an unknown strategic resource dubbed Zro. Is that within our board? That's not within our borders, is it? Oh, it's way out here. I mean, we can maybe get there. This also this says Zro Volatile Moats? System survey concluded. Right, we need to build a thing there, too. I'm trying to cut these people off from getting up into here. There's so many things, so many places we need to expand to. Construction completed. What do we got here? Pops that can be put to work. What is this? An actual person? Unemployed. We are building a um, district though, so we will have at least a clerk job open up here pretty soon, so you should be okay. And then here is the robots, right? They are unemployed? Yeah. Construction completed. Okay. And now we are at our max naval capacity. We are currently System upgrading that fleet. Concluded. Construction completed. You're going to go on automated exploration again. Whew. System survey concluded. Okay. And these three planets, man, that's... They're not amazing planets, Upgrades but it is applied. three additional planets. Fleet has been upgraded. Fantastic. The special project has concluded. Space anomalies. Quickly nicknamed Space Amoeba. Uh, the creature is, in fact, larger than the average... <laughs> I forgot that we named this Max uh, Corvette. 
The M-A-A-C-S's. Fascinating creatures! Has been updated. Let's research these. We found Zeta aliens. Okay. Not as fascinating. Evasive maneuvers. What? Oh, the space amoeba, right. So we can not get any further down that way. So how about you? First we're going to have you survey up there and then yeah, just just go that way. You're going up here? Okay, that's fine. Just leave the space amoebas alone. Let's not worry about them. <sighs> okay. Still building the robots. And I guess we can resettle robots completed. wherever we need them to be. Construction completed. Nice. Research station output is done. Physics research from research plus 20%. Um, we really need to kind of focus on ship stuff. So, UV lasers? Hyperdrive 2? Hmm... Hyperdrive 2. Speed is pretty important. So let's grab that. Okay. Um, influence. We can now build another station. So let's build one. Oh, right. There's hostiles there. Ah! Ah! Okay, it's fine. Uh, I think this is more important for right now. At least cutting them off from getting here. So let's build that one first. We do have a cutoff technically, kinda, like right here and here, so that, that works. But let's grab this, this is a nice choke point. Uh, hello Cherry, how's it going? System Those peacock so thingies computer. are pretty, aren't they though? Look at our Empress, so golden, majestic. Amazing. So fantastic. We definitely need more alloys here. What do we got here? So we have no free jobs. Uh, authorities on Feather Dust report that over the last few months, several more colonists have lost their lives to mysterious shootings. However, progress has also been made into finding the perpetrators. Apparently, an extensive limestone cavern network runs deep underground with numerous difficult to find entrances scattered in the wilderness. Whoever is responsible for the shooting is hiding somewhere deep inside. A non lethal solution will take significantly longer, but the shooters will be captured alive. Whoever is killing our beautiful peacocks will be massacred! Although we are xenophiles. I'm torn. I'm gonna roll a die because I'm torn on this one. Even we kill them. Ta! Ah, that was odd. All right, let's go find out what the hell's going on. Is that a special project? No. Redneck underground network of peacock killers? Yeah, filthy cats! That's who they are. You know that there are cats living under there. Hyped up on their catnip. Trying to murder our beautiful people. How dare they. No evil. Ivory, we'll thank you for the resub for 11 months. And right after, Knowledgy, thank you for the resub for six months. No evil. Which just popped there. Thank you, you two. Welcome to the stream. The only good cat is a dead cat. Whoa, now let's not go crazy. I love cats, though. Like, in real life, I love kitties. But in this game, they must all burn! It is known that cats eat birds, therefore, they must die in this game. But in real life, I love little kitties. Just... If I had a kitty right here right now, I'd be petting it. Like, rawr, rawr, rawr. No, I'll be purring. We are receiving a transmission from Mictor Savants. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Oh. Oh. Mictor Savants. A machine intelligence. Oh. Uh. This is... This is not right. Machines who are intelligent? 
What? This can't be. You are service droids. You don't think for yourselves. We shall teach you. The forward, the way forward lies in our hands, Mictors. You must be downgraded into. Oh God, you're right up here. Well, maybe we can be friendly. Maybe we can learn from them. Maybe. Construction complete. I don't know, friends. What do you think our faction would view them as? We view robots like we like robots, but they're robots. You know, they are there. We like them because they take over our menial labor tasks that we don't want to do because we're busy expanding our knowledge and stuff. So, how would we feel about an entire race that is only machines? The Machine Empire is probably your most likely ally. Probably is. They're the only ones that don't hate us. I'm just saying, though, from a role-playing standpoint, how would we view machine intelligence? Would we be... I mean, I think some of us would be interested and curious to learn more. Would we want to try to enslave them? We have detected an anomaly. Hmm. Research. They must be enslaved as a labor force. Do they have sex bots? What? Hello, Via. Welcome. Hmm. I don't know. I, I can go either way. We can use them as allies and learn from them. Maybe through them we can learn how to improve our own robots, but not to the point of them becoming intelligent. Or what if we do let them become intelligent? What could happen if we give robots intelligence? Again, we're, we are curious people. Hmm. Can't trust something that thinks it's more than it should be? <laughs> what? Could they try to cause the robots to have an uprising? I mean, should robots... ...maybe be given the ability to think for themselves? Set phasers to vibrate? Wait, what? We use robots as things, we don't see them as people. But should we see them as people? Does this revelation of a, of a people who are high-thinking robots, does that make us question what, like, we always looked at robots as things, but should we be looking as robots as something more? Uh, let's see. The Midari civilization encountered. We could possibly get there, but they probably will beat us there, though. Solaris become human. <laughs> I never played that game. Uh, we do need to continue expanding our borders, though. So let's grab... Let's grab this choke point for right now. Because that at least cuts them off from... Man, we are... Okay, we are surrounded. Robots are made for our amusement. This is how you get Skynet. They just want to compete in peace. Big smart robots equals big problems. They should be our workforce. Man, everyone's so aggressive. Everyone's like, fire them all! I mean, that's my initial reaction, too, because that's how I play these games, typically. But I'm trying to play a little differently. A little differently. I'm conflicted. We've always seen robots as a workforce. But this proves that robots can be more. What can we learn from a machine intelligence? And can we use that, that knowledge to improve ourselves? And our System beauty. Look at that beautiful spread of feathers. We should take them under our wing and domin uh, guide them. We are a feudal society, too. I forgot that. So if we have vassals, they, um... Like, we are encouraged to have vassals. Because we are a feudal society. So maybe that's our option. Maybe instead of totally dominating them, we... Well, we dominate them. But let them keep their way. I don't know. System survey concluded. That's still kind of far away. We gotta survive long enough for that to even happen here. What do we got? We have an Alari that is without a job. Oh god. Okay. What kind of buildings can we make here? Um, alloy foundrel? Foundrel. Foundry? I think we do need more alloys. Let's get an alloy foundry. Get that going. Toy feathers. Thank you for this year of this support. This year of support, Cherry. Thank you for the resub. 
One whole year that went too quickly. God, I'm old. Thanks for all the streams. Cherry, don't don't mention the word old, please. You're going. To... I'm old too. I'm old too. Stream's over. God. Why can't I just become a robot and never age? Thank you for the reason out there, Cherry. What do we do here? We have one clerk position still open that this person's gonna fill. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's fine for right now. And the Feather Duster is probably in a similar position. Yeah. One more job that it's going to be filling. Okay. And then Alaris. We're still building the robots. We have one robot that doesn't have a job. We have two open jobs still. But the robot can't fill those. Not yet. Hmm... Oh, right, the gene clinics. I meant to do this. But maybe we make a gene clinic on a world where we're not already building robots. But this, also, this does also give us amenities. Which we are low on on this planet. But at the same time, we still already have open jobs. <sighs> But if we change or exchange one of these clerks for a gene clinic worker, that may not be a bad idea. Let's put a gene clinic. I feel young too, Toothless. You're not old, Tope. You're the same age as... Oh shit, I'm old. <laughs> the car. Man. How would a feudal society with robots work? You can't keep a robot as a stupid peasant. I mean, aren't they lower than a stupid peasant? Because a stupid peasant can still think for itself. For a robot, if you don't program it to, it can't think for itself. System survey concluded. Concluded. You probably don't need the enforcer job. The enforcer job? Oh, we do have an enforcer job. This gives us 1.4 unity and gives to our defense armies and lowers crime by 25. Well, I don't want any crime. So right now, we kind of need that enforcer job. Oh, we get a new uh, a whole tradition. I don't know what all these do. I know that there's a lot here. Based on the names, do any of these pop out to somebody? Crime is cool. Not here. Uh, take care, blood. Hello, Daniel. Welcome. What would be thematic for our race? Piracy? Nope. Nope. But it is in Burb's nature to steal. That's actually kind of true. Now I kind of want to run a, a game of... Because there's a mod that sounds kind of neat where um, your space stations can basically run as colonies. And they the, the mod description was like, hey, have you, have you ever wanted like marauders that just have a bunch of space stations and no colonies? Then here you go. And that sounded kind of neat. So having space burb pirates with a bunch of space stations going around stealing shit, that sounds kind of neat. But anyway, that's not the game we're playing right now. Chivalry domination. Is this modded? Yes. Burbs are honorable. Cybernetics would be lore friendly. What kind of space empire are we? We are fanatic materialist uh, xenophiles. We love to learn. Um, we love to learn from different people. Our robots currently are our workforce, but I'm thinking about maybe giving them a chance. Expansion? I don't think expansion is going to really work right now because we're totally surrounded. Commerce, mystery, expansion, domination, diplomacy. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, we'll start with what chivalry uh, suggested. Our ideals are neither too bent nor broken. Whatever happens without wavering, we must be virtuous. All leaders gain the chivalrous trait, which provides minor bonuses. General and admirals who win a battle have a chance to gain the hero trait, which provides a major bonus. Um, after we finish this, allows the ruler to select a virtue, providing a set of bonuses. In addition, we will unlock one ascension perk slot. We get ship fire rate. Trust growth is increased between empires. Uh, energy credit, food, mineral, produced by jobs, is increased by 5%. Our 
Army morale is increased. Army upkeep is reduced. Destroying enemy combat ships and stations provide unity. A glorious battle. Aesthetics? Oh, okay, aesthetics. I mean, we are peacocks. Beauty can be perceived, but not explained. Without beauty, our existence would be hollow. Governing ethics extraction increased by 15% on planets with the Autothon Monument building chain? What? This thing? So we would only get a bonus if we have this thing there. So this is like a unity thing? I mean, I like the aesthetics. We are peacocks, after all. Yeah. So, governing ethics attraction with that building. When it's done, society research output is increased. Our question mark culture workers increased by two. I'm assuming that's part of the mod thing. Uh, amenities increased by 15%. Provides one culture worker job and one entertainer job for every 40 population on a planet. Inspiration of awe. Foreign empire opinion is increased by 15 Trade attractiveness is increased. Migration attraction is, attraction is increased because we're so damn beautiful. Uh, housing is increased by 15% because of our grand architecture, which are, with a bunch of feathers. And galactic wonders enables five expensive empire unique wonder buildings. Each provides providing planet and empire wide bonuses. To build a wonder, to build a wonder, a planetary capital is required. Also, no more than one wonder can be built on each planet. I mean, I feel like we got to get this just because of the role-playing, the aesthetics. We are so beautiful. Gameplay-wise, I don't care about some of these. But role-playing-wise, yes. I like it. Maybe your empire sees robot-making as a form of art or whatever? Ooh, yeah, that could be. System survey concluded. Do peacock pirate ships have giant feathers on them to make the enemy think that ships are bigger? <laughs> Probably. Migration treaties are great for population growth, actually. Okay. Well, I'm down. Construction ship. You're down here. You built that stuff. Okay. Build mining stations. Build research stations. All right. I don't know if four trade value is worth upgrading this to a space station, but it is on the border. So we may want that to be a trade station anyway. Maybe. A mysterious probe! An unidentified vessel has been detected in the Marath system. Okay, so a new alien? That does not have a um, research thing. Okay. Wow, we really need alloys. When a robot and a robot love each other very much... Wait, what? Anomalous readings registered. Uh, you can actually see the probe and zoom in on it. Is there a reason to do that? Sell minerals for alloys? We could do that. We could do that. Uh, when we run up against a thing that costs more alloys than we have, we'll probably do that. And then we're going to want to build another space outpost here pretty soon. I guess we'll have you do that. Actually, you already are doing that. You're on your way to build that right now. The special project has concluded. Space amoebas forever. So, we will get a movement modifier giving following effects evasion plus 5% on all ships for all time. Or regenerative hull tissue. Huh. So 5% evasion for all of time, or possible hull tissue regeneration. Hmm. You know, burbs are fast. They're evasive. Look at the evasion. That makes sense. Construction completed. Um, Council of Yamoria have closed borders. Oh.
Well, then we shall respond. Actually, no, we're not. If your people wish to migrate, let them. Orbital Speed Demon. Try to slow this thing down. Dispatch a drone to attempt to latch onto the object to reduce its momentum. Attempt to halt it. Eject debris to collide with the object. Get away from it. Try to slow it down. Uh, take care, Boo. Fairly well. Slow that thing down. It's going too fast. The drone successfully intercepted the unknown object's orbit by latching onto the object and then thrusting in reverse little by little. Hmm. The drone was eventually able to direct it to the uh, ship. The object looks to be some sort of box constructed of alien material. Vein-like ridges meander along its sides, congregating at the top in some type of sphere-shaped mechanism. We can only guess what its contents. That sounds pretty lewd. Did we just find a giant flying space stick? Like... Uh, open it. Situation log has been updated. 